The message of the New Zealand bishops was that we wanted to see language in church documents changed so that it's something that gives people hope and support and encouragement rather than being something that appears to many people that they can't um, sort of meet the mark, that they can't um, live up to the standards that the church is, is uh, asking of them. When we, um, when we um, asked people to respond, we had a huge number of people responding for, for our country, but 25% of the respondents were, were non-practicing Catholics. And the message was that it's impossible when we're told that because we're using contraception we're intrinsically evil, or that we're living in an irregular situation, that the language is so negative that it doesn't help us. So my intervention was let's not be concentrating on rules but looking for language that helps people and encourages people in their journey to God. That's the, that's the simple message really. Um, and I think the fact that well, people appreciated the fact that they were asked, that they had an opportunity to say something at the Synod on the Family. And before I left home, I was astounded at the number of people who were contacting me saying that, you know, there would be prayers for this. It's never happened for other Synods, but because it's about the family and their real life situations, there was a deep interest. So the hope is that there's not going to be too many changes in doctrine but that the language that's used will be in such a way that it, it is supportive and encouraging for people. Yeah, it's good, to, it's good to hear the same sort of things. It's quite affirming to hear the same kind of things. In fact, one of the bishops who spoke just after me used almost the same words and quoted the same, the same um, document, Familiaris Consortio, about the law of gradualness. Um, so it is good to hear that. Um, and to hear some of the, some of the practical things too that pe that some of the bishops are concerned about, um, that that is encouraging and hopeful.